now tell me please, how long are you in agility world? Uh, since 20 years ago, 97 I started, so I was actually grown up when I started. Was it hard to start as a grown up? No, 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 I had great fun. Okay. I uh, became a judge three years after that, so I've been a judge for 17 years. Are you still running? Oh, uh, yes. yes. Yes, yes. Okay. And what uh, breed do you have? What dogs? Uh, right now, one uh, old, 10-year-old do- uh, border collie mm-hmm. and three Croatian sheep dogs. Yes. Which is great. challenging. Yeah. They have two puppies and one is six years old. Okay. Um, okay, so what do you think is most important for dogs in agility? To have fun with them. And for handlers, what is most important? To make it fun for the dog. So basically, fun yes. for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, cool. Do you prefer agility courses or jumping courses? That's a tricky one. I mean, I have lousy compacts, so. <laughs> No, no. I think I think you need both. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there's different skills. Yes. In, in, I mean, now a Latvia is enormous with running contacts. Yes. Yes, much more than in Sweden, mm-hmm. and we have a lot more dogs. Okay. And what is your favorite obstacle? What's that kind of question? <laughs> so you don't have any favorite obstacle? No, no, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Yes, if you have a viaduct, but they are rare. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the dog doesn't know it, so sometimes they go actually under. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any funny story about agility that has happened to you or, uh, while you were judging horses? <laughs> something and there hasn't been any dramatic things or I mean you see how there's a quite beyond the yes, 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 yes. that gives me pleasure as well. So. so the most inspiring thing for you is when you see people like that, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because then I, I see the happy, happiness, mm-hmm. and they are pleased with their dogs. Mm-hmm. And I see one this competition that was that fun to watch. Yes. What do you think about agility level in Latvia? Uh, level three, I think, is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's percentage is higher in Latvia than in Sweden. Mm-hmm. But Level one and two, I can't say so much because I mean five knots. Yes, that's hard so, to do. So, so no, so but the level three, I think, I mean, sort of impressed. I was in uh, Austria last weekend, and compared to them, your level three, you are much better than them. What were you impressed by, actually? You mentioned running contacts already. Maybe yeah. something else. Svetlana has uh, educated, I don't know everyone, but a lot of them, and but no, I'm impressed by them. Okay, yeah. that's, that's very nice to hear, thank you. And what is your overall impression about our country, um, our city, Riga? Riga is... The people. The people, well, I can only tell about the people, yes. and that's really nice. Mm-hmm. And uh, the city was really nice. We had the sightseeing this Friday, and uh, been 25 years since I was here. Uh-huh. Okay. And this big change. Mm-hmm. I can but, understand. Yeah, yeah. So, no, so I, I really enjoyed it. It's actually my first time here judging. Did you like? It? Yes. Cool. Yeah. And so I can add that to my list of countries. So you. Can you say that you would like to come once more to Latvia for judging? Oh, yes. Yes? Yes. Great. 
Hey, e- even, we- even if I have to make so many courses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Right. Um, any wishes to achieve people? Uh, just to stay and this is Croatian or Border Collie? Croatian. Cool! 